I want to share with you something I found. I found my very first memory palace. My very first journey I ever created. And this brings back a lot of memories when I first started. So this journey, this memory palace, has 25 different locations within it. And as you can tell, I go through and just list all the different places. And so what's cool about this is that this is part of probably one of my best adventures. These different locations come from this adventure where my friends and I ran around the city for 16 miles. We were jumping over fences, sneaking around. And so it's just really cool to see this and like, wow. Like, I remember exactly where I started. I remember being in my room, writing this down, trying to figure it all out. Okay, like, what's a good location? Um, but eventually, I added just one more. So it's 26 different locations within this journey. Um, because I memorized the first 156 digits of pi with this memory palace. Okay? So there are the first 156 digits of pi. And I memorized this about 8 years ago, 7 years ago. And... It's just so cool going seeing this because every time I recall Pi, I go I walk through this journey and it just brings back all these like great memories about my friends and I, you know, just going through, sneaking around, getting lost in this gated community. Uh, you know, it was just a cool experience. And that's why it's probably so um such such a fantastic memory palace, this one I have, because I have so much emotion attached to it. You no, know, one of my best adventures, you know, doing parkour around the city of Greeley. And so, you know, being able to have all those feelings and attachments and emotions to it, when I recall it, it's so easy because still to this day, I know I can see it perfectly. I can see where the, the journey began to the whole adventure in my friend's room. And then boom, see all the different places we visit. And it's just a fantastic feeling, you know, seeing this like, man, I came such a long way from this beginning point, you know, my very first memory journey where I memorized 156 digits of pi and then where I came today, you know? And so I just want to show you this because I think it's really cool kind of seeing where you started and seeing where you are, especially with anything, right? Not just memory techniques, you know, if you're working out, um, if you're starting your business or anything, just like where you were and where you are now. And just seeing this, oh man, brings Great memories about that that day. It was a long day, man. We were out there for hours just running around, jumping over fences, having a great time. Um, getting you no know, scared by dogs barking because we were lost in the gaming community, right? So we jumping over fences, running away. And man, uh, it's just a fantastic feeling, you know, just seeing this. I'm like, I remember when I did this. I remember when I started. Oh, man, just going through and just kind of replaying the adventure, you know, I was going through, picking out each of these different locations because of course you know I could use pretty much anything along the whole path right 16 miles worth right I could use anything but I was like what were big parts of that um, adventure right what really stuck out and so going through like oh yeah you know what stuck out was where it all started right my friend's bedroom boom then you know just moving throughout the whole house to going outside then no <laughs> one part I remember uh, for sure was uh, the ditch there was this ditch and you know, we had to cross it, so we had to jump over it. I kind of jumped, but like slipped because there's like kind of water. And so I kind of slipped and fell into like the water a little bit. And so when I go over there, I you know it's like just so clear and funny because of what happened, right? Me got, uh, like slipping back into the ditch. And so, you know, it was just great overall. And just finding this yesterday, I'm like, man, I just want to share this with you, with you guys just to show you, you know. Just have fun with memory techniques. Just have a good time. That's all memory techniques are, you know. Yes, there's a serious aspect of when you're learning something and you need to learn it fast, right? But this came, this memory palace, this journey came from one of my best adventures. And it just means so much, you know, when I actually go through the, the 156, first 156 digits of high. And just, you know, recalling it because I'm walking through this journey. And having this paper so from 8 years ago, you know, 7 years ago. Um, that's just crazy. And this is something I probably probably always gonna have because this was the start of the whole thing. It was the start from going to my first competition, the USA competition, then going to London, becoming a grandmaster, now going to China, going to California for a game show, doing the XMT, doing all these different things, right? This was the start, you know. This was point zero. And so I just wanna share this with you, you know, um, just talk about a little bit about the history of this, right? Because 
To most people, it's just a piece of paper with words, but to me, it's much, much more. It's the beginning of something fantastic. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.